So today we're just gonna land our rocket on this planet here and set up a base that'll help us defend against some nasty pirates. To do that, we need to get a workbench set up over here. Just dropping all the little tools that we need in there and then struggle to get this log over here as well. Those are heavy. But once we do that, we just pound everything in place and we have a workbench. Now we can make some tools like a crude ax. And we're not just gonna make one of these, we're actually gonna make two of them. And then once we do that, we can give one of them to this little robot over here and we can teach him to start cutting down some trees. So we just tell him to watch what I do. I go over to this tree and then I chop it down. And then once that's chopped down, he can go ahead and repeat it forever. And then he gets to work immediately. Look at him go, super fast. But he's also gonna run out of trees. So we'll need to make a crude spade and then we can teach a robot to plant some trees just like we did before. Before. So one robot will be digging the holes, doing basically the same thing. He just finds a patch of dirt and then just digs a hole. And then you do that forever. Go ahead and do it. But we should also probably change your search area. Hold on. It should be the same area that our woodworking robot is working. So go ahead and do that. Oh, now this robot's upset because he doesn't have a crude axe anymore. In that case, your entire job is going to be making tools. So you will grab a stick from this bin here, drop it on the bench. Oh, actually, before we do that, we should probably set up the recipe to be crude axes. Okay, so yep, you had to stick to the workbench, and then you grab a stone from this storage here, and then add that to the workbench. Beautiful! And then we want you to keep doing that, but not forever, just until this workbench is full. So you're not just constantly making an endless supply of axes. That would not be good. So that should be good there. But now this robot over here needs a little bit of an adjustment so that he can go over here and then grab the axe, and then move on with what he was doing. Just need to reorganize his priority list a little bit, fix it up until hands are full, and then that should work. There, now he can get an ax and move on with his day. Perfect, and this guy is just digging a line like crazy. Now we need you to go over and pick up some seeds, like so, and then deposit it in the hole like that. Perfect, there, now that should work. Now we have an endless supply of trees. Good. Oh dear, but you don't have a spade. These robots need a lot of hand holding. So let's just set up another workbench over here to make some spades. And look at that, we have some trees going already. Oh, that's amazing. I love things being automated. I just don't like the process of setting it up. There, now this workbench can make some spades forever. And then I bet we can make this robot do the same thing. Oh, wait a second, you're not repeating things. There we go, now he's making axes. And it looks like our wood chopper here has run out of trees to chop down. Maybe there's more in this other area of the map because we haven't explored out here totally. Ooh, well, there's a lot more things. There's also a gigantic rock here. We should definitely make some use out of that once we get some other things set up here. In the meantime, stop you. We need to get another function in here. It's basically the same thing as creating the ax, but it's making a spade instead. And then we fix these loops. So once he's done making the axes, he will make the spades. Perfect. There, now we have a digger that is automated as well as tree planter and all this stuff. But you forgot to pick up, uh, I guess I should change you to instead of doing it forever, just do it until your hands are empty. And then repeat forever, there we go. And look at that, the trees are growing again. Excellent, we have a tree farm. But we're also gonna need some storage for all of the stuff that we're collecting. So let's set up a couple pallets here for logs, which we need logs to make. And we also need planks and poles. So to make those, we'll just process some of these logs as they are. And then poles come from chopping up the planks. Excellent. And then once this pallet is established, we'll set up a robot to store logs in here like that. And we'll just leave this log out here for demonstration purposes. So you find a log like so, and then drop it in here like so. Robot C, robot do. And we'll change your ex investigation area. Ooh, we could cover a lot of area with this. That should be good. And just do that forever. Or probably until this is full. Go ahead. And that's all working very good for setting up all these plans that we have. And check it out, we already have basic forestry done. Now we also need to make some crude picks. Now our things are going pretty well, but we're also running out of bots that we can work with. Thankfully, we can set up a bot assembly unit right here so we can make more. We just need more logs and more planks. And this guy has forgotten to pick up a shovel. We'll just get him back on track there because he's got a lot of shovels to go through still. Unfortunately, we can only carry one log at a time. This is tedious, but it's worth it because because now we can put all sorts of things together and make some more bots, which also takes a lot of things. 
Let's just use the pots that we have right now. And right over here, we can set up a chopping block to help turn the logs into planks. We just need to casually take a crude axe for that to donate to the cause. Beautiful. And the best part is we don't even have to use our own crude axe to do this. Workstations are beautiful that way. And we can also change this to make some poles. So it'll go through like that. And just like that, we have poles. Oh, yeah. Now we have another pallet set up that we can just assign to be planks. And then you, my lucky bot friend, are going to be making planks until you run out of battery, which thankfully is never. So you take this, you drop it here, you make the thing. And wow. just like that, it's planks. That's gonna be all you do. And then you are going to haul the things. And then I bet we can set up this spot to... Oh, he wasn't doing it forever. That's okay. Now he's going to take planks from here and then drop it in here. And then do that until that's full. There we go, beautiful automation. And the best part is I can use all this stuff to make a third pallet for poles. Right after I set up another chopping block, specially for that. This is working very nicely. And now it's going to be solely what you do. Take planks, turn them into poles. And then we're going to update your code so you're moving the poles as well. You're doing a lot of hauling, I'm proud of you. Okay, now take this from here, put it in here. Beautiful. There, that should work a lot better. But he's also prioritizing the logs, which is a good thing. Although he does spend a lot of time going out and only collecting logs. So maybe he can only do this until it's not full, but it's until it's not empty. And then same with this one. So he'll do each of these until they're, we'll say 50% full. That should be how that works. There we go. And now he's collecting poles because that's what's below half storage. Perfect. Things are really shaping up, but now I really need to make some bots. So they need a tree seed. That's probably their brain. Maybe these bots have a squirrel running around in there, but they also take logs, a whole lot of planks and a pole. And we carefully make ourselves a robot. Look at that. And you wanna know what the weird thing is? We can tell a robot to do exactly that. Come over here, find a tree seed, go to all of these things and grab the things that you need. And they should have the same holding capacity as me but we'll just have them do it one at a time. And then we have a bot that will be making bots, or at least until this is not empty. Oh, it's raining now. I wonder if that affects tree growth. Perfect, he's gonna be making bots forever. I bet we can make that easier for him though if we set up a storage for acorns. That could go right over here. And there's a few other spots for storages that we can work on when we think about what to put in there. But now if we are making storages, we're going to need bots to fill these storages. I'll just get that set up really quick. So now he's going to be collecting acorn seeds as well as sticks because we are actually running short on sticks. Since this robot's been working tirelessly to make stuff. Oh, we also need someone collecting stones. Let's have a separate robot for that. And I'm not too sure where stones can be found reliably. We'll get them going for now. There is stone deposits here. So that would be good for stone production. It just involves making another workbench, which would be used for making crude picks. That also takes stone and sticks. There's gonna be a lot of sticks going through here. But now let's just go ahead and see how this works. We come over to a tile here and then we bash it into the ground, almost bashing our faces into the ground there. And look at that, it makes a stone. Oh, and he immediately finds it. Good job, proud of you. Now we can get our bot over here is working on that. It just happens to take a while. Hopefully it doesn't take him as long. And they're also gonna narrow this search area because there's not a lot of stone blocks here. Or stone tiles, that is. Maybe if we find a bigger deposit, we can have him going there. So let's see what's up here. There's a lot of bushes, not much for stone deposits. There's a lot of soil. And whoa, whoa, uh-oh. Oh gosh, I found the pirates. I got a little friend captive there. Look at him, he's so sad. It's using the folk's sadness to power the force field. Okay, that's interesting. Oh dear, hopefully they're not attacking me right now. I need to get out of here. So they have a four. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Run away, run away, run away. Oh, they started chasing me. They have a lot of things going on there. We need to work on that. I think our production is good enough so that we can do that. But I also need to adjust your code to make the pickaxes. Which, can I copy this code? Oh, I can make a data storage. Copying from one bot to the next. Not exactly what I want though. No worries, that's easy enough to do. There we go. And this guy still has a pickaxe, but he's gonna need to fix that. Okay, it looks like we have things working pretty well here. Now we need to work on getting some defenses probably to deal with the robots, the pirates. These are pirates. Robots are on my side. So to do that, we need to set up this bot database here. 
I could go right over here. What do you take? Oh, you take a lot of things. Fixing pegs? That is what happens when we chop up poles. We'll just make a few of those. And we need four of them. My goodness. And we also need four tree seeds. Thankfully, there's plenty of those we can get. And then once we add everything else to the pile and jump on top of it like crazy, we have a database. Ah, so here's where we can share programs between bots. That should make it a whole lot easier. Oh, but I guess we need to complete some operations first before we can do that some farming and then before that we have to complete this oh, that's no problem we just need a fourth workbench so this one can be used to make mallets which this one takes a log and a pole not stones or sticks which is good and then a bot can use this to bash some sticks out of trees so now we just make this guy capable of doing that as soon as there's a tree probably but the trees also get attacked very quickly so let's actually just use this other grove of trees over here to be stick production Look at that, he's bashing it, and look at the stick! And then I repeat that forever. Now, who do I have collecting sticks? It's you, right? We'll go ahead and change your search area to be a little more this way so you can get this grove. You're also not repeating this forever, you're supposed to do that. Now we just need another chopping block and be able to store fixing pegs. As well as adding a few more lines of code to this guy's brain. Can he actually do that? He's only got three kilobytes free, he might not be able to. Thankfully, we have another bot that is capable of doing that. You get a log, you get a pole, we go fishing in the crawfish hole, and that's gonna be what you do. Now once we get this third chopping block set up, and establish that to be fixing pegs, we can get a third bot doing that. So it all should work beautifully. And then we just need to get storage set up for the fixing pegs. So the new bot that was made over here can run the storage for that. Beautiful. And then once the rest of these bots do their thing, we have finished Operation Groundwork. Excellent. And the next operation is CD Biz. Oh, and to fund our defense, we need gold. Well, I guess that's what the farming's for. Right now, whoa, what's going on here? Oh, new recipes. Cool. But I think we can save that defense campaign for a different video. Right now, we have a good basic system set up. And it's really easy to program these robots, too. I like it. Although, some of these bots aren't doing their things anymore. Not too sure why that was. And, of course, these guys over here need so much help doing things. Thankfully, it's incredibly easy to do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Autonauts versus Pirate Bots, which is what these guys are. Hopefully, in a future video, we can actually rescue this guy. That would be, I'm pretty sure, very beneficial for him. He's so sad. Well, if you guys want to see that, then be sure to let me know. Thank you very much for watching and sub to Intern. I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Deviant X, Lucas S, The Real Nickname, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drupal Long, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily Bice, The Minor Within, Degarity, Sans, Isaac, Hometown Medic, Miguel, and Drew.